we're excited about continuing what we have been about and continue to expand with, which is classic work as well as um, new work. We're opening the season with Puccini's Madama Butterfly, by all accounts, North America's most popular opera. But again, it's new in that we have Alison Cambridge, who is with us as a fantastic Mimi in um, La Boheme in 2014, singing her first Butterfly with us. And it'll be the first time I've gotten to direct the show. And of course, with the Milwaukee Symphony in the Pit playing that sort of lush Puccini score, I think it promises to be a real crowd pleaser. But, you know, again, not just by rote, we're treating it the way we do a new opera. I mean, I think that that's really important in what we do. And then in February, we're doing our annual studio artist concert in the Wilson Theater in Vogel Hall. And that this year, the theme is a Vienna City of My Dreams. The world of operetta and lighter music sort of originated in Vienna. And it'll tie into one of our pieces later in the year, which I'll get to in a second, but be a, an opportunity to showcase a really fantastic incoming class of studio artists. And then in March, a new production in the Wilson Theater in Vogel Hall of, a, I think, a contemporary masterpiece, Jake Hagee's Three Decembers, three-character opera that takes place over three Decembers during three different decades, and the family dynamics are involved. A fantastic piece, a, a really very personal piece for Jake Hagee, who also wrote Dead Men Walking and Moby Dick, and really one of this country's leading if not leading a contemporary operatic composers. It's tuneful but insightful, deals with a lot of difficult topics, and a, and a great cast, Keith Ferris, who is with us as Amr Gantry, who created the role in Houston, will be returning. Lucy Schaufer, a fantastic singing actress who's based in London, will be doing the role of Maddie, who's sort of the matriarch, and then Rena Harms, who was with us in Carmen and Turndot. So that's gonna be a fantastic piece. And then in the spring, sort of my background, my first company I ran was an operetta company. And we don't often get to do a lot of operetta, but we're going to be doing the Flader Mouse of Johann Strauss. John Humes, who's directed with us many times from Nashville, and isn't normally associated with comedy. He's tackled things like Salome, Elmer Gantry, Don Giovanni, but he's going to bring a light touch to the Flader Mouse, which is, is of course, the, one of the world's great operas. And one of the things that I think is emblematic of how the Florentine tries to keep the collaborative spirit going in the sort of featured speaking role of Frosch, the jailer, Bill Tyson, the former artistic director of the Skylight Music Theater here in Milwaukee will be returning to do that role with us. So I think it's, again, a season and the early returns on how people are reacting are very positive. So we're very excited about that. A young woman who's doing Rosalinda, who was a young artist with me at my last company, Lake George Opera, Ina Dukash is doing Rosalinda. Jamie Rose Guarin, who was with us as Suzanne in The Marriage of Figaro, is doing Adele. Corey McKern, who is with us in both Bohem and in The Elixir of Love, will be doing Eisenstein. Jonathan Byer, a fine young baritone, is doing Dr. Falca, and Alfred will be John Pickle, who's with us in both Salome and the Merry Widow, so great cast. So we're using a musical term as a way of making it easier for people to subscribe with us. Of course, um, in my ideal world, everybody will want to come to everything, but we know that people have a lot of choices in this city, which has an incredible amount of performing and visual arts. But so we are offering duet, trios, quartet um, packages for subscribers. So you can come to as few as two or as many as all of them and uh, be treated to all the benefits of being a subscriber. So, um, and you know, if you come to one and you're just so smitten with it, um, we can certainly upgrade you at that point. We will, um, we make it, we make it very hard to not be welcome here. Uh -huh.